welcome back to part two of Get Piano Lesson 6. Now that we're coming down the home stretch of our basic sight reading assignments, let's do one more piano exercise before taking on our greatest challenge for our left hand. First, let's get our left hand back in our first position on the keyboard again and take a look at our next group of 15 numbers. Now this fingering chart will once again have us moving up and down within the tight perimeter of our C hand position and is a great test of our hand-eye coordination skills. So once again, Try to keep your eyes focused on the numbers ahead as you begin to play the correct notes on your keyboard slowly and evenly. Three, one, two, four, four, two, three, five, five, three, four, one, two, four, five. Then, as always, when you're playing this exercise with no mistakes and without peeking at your fingers, go ahead and play the pattern faster. And now, let's see what this finger chart would sound like if we were to play it backwards. But let's do something different this time. Instead of making it easier on ourselves by flipping the numbers around, Let's just keep the numbers on the screen just as they are and simply read them in reverse order from right to left. Sure, I know this might seem a little strange, but it will really force us to pay close attention to each note as we play through them one by one. So let's give it a try. Five, four, two, one, four, three, five. Of course, this is going to feel a little weird at first, but once you get the hang of it, you should try and play it both forwards and backwards all at once, like this. First, play it forwards. Then play it backwards. get the hang of it, do it all at once at faster speeds. Alright, now it's time for our final and greatest sight reading challenge for our left hand. In this exercise, we're going to significantly increase our playing speed as we sight read and play a very jumbled group of 15 notes. As you can tell from looking at this sequence of numbers, our fingers are going to get quite a workout bouncing all around within our C hand position. And to add an extra layer of difficulty, we're going to play this finger pattern two times in rapid succession. Now if you remember from lesson four, we've already played this finger pattern once before with our right hand. And at that time, I was referring to it as the finger tongue twister because of the slightly more confusing and rapid finger motions we need to perform in order to play it correctly. But first, we're going to start practicing it slowly and steadily until we can get the basic rhythm of this pattern down. But just keep in mind, this exercise really won't be complete until we can play it with a certain amount of speed. So once again, with our left hand in the C hand position, Let's slowly begin chopping away at this jumbled mass of numbers. Five, one, four, two, three, two, four, one. Five, one, four, two, three, one, five, and repeat. Five, one, four, two, three. this finger pattern, you may notice that your fingers seem to be moving inwards towards each other and then spreading back out again. But that basic motion along with the speed factor is what helps to create that complicated feeling of tongue twistedness, so to speak, especially when you start playing this exercise at faster speeds. 
speed is all I'm going to recommend you shoot for when you begin playing it at full speed. If you can play it faster than that, that's fine too. But just remember, you have to be playing it correctly and smoothly. Tripping over your fingers is not allowed here. to take this exercise slow and easy until your accuracy begins to develop naturally. And given proper time and effort, you might just be able to whiz through this finger pattern at even lightning speeds. Congratulations! You've just completed the very basics of learning how to play the piano with your right and left hands. Compared to a lot of folks who simply look at the piano and wish they could play something, you now know a lot more than they do. But still, in order to play the piano professionally, we need to be able to coordinate both our hands to play at the same time. And while it can be challenging to play different notes with either hand simultaneously, in our next lesson, we're going to slowly learn the secret to playing two different things on the piano at once. Now if you need to review any of our previous materials for the right or left hands leading up to this point, you can always find it online at www.getpianolessons.com. But when you feel ready to step ahead into the realm of two-handed piano playing, just check me out and get Piano Lesson 7, because from this point on, all of our piano lessons will be played with both hands together.